Welcome back again. I see some of you have changed where you are, but it's good to know you're all still here. Today is the first Sunday after Easter. And on the first Sunday after Easter, we always hear this story. And I'm going to read it to you and explain why I think it's such an important story for us. So we are on page 492 in the Spark Story Bible. Doubting Thomas. The disciples were hiding in a house that night that Jesus rose from the dead. They were afraid. Bam! They locked all the doors. Jesus came and stood by them. Peace be with you, he said. The disciples looked up in surprise. Jesus showed them his hands and his side so that they would know it was him. The disciples were very happy. Again, Jesus said to them, peace be with you. God has sent me to you. Now it's your turn to go tell the rest of the world about me. Jesus breathed on them in a very special way. He said, with this breath, I will always be in your hearts. Even when I am in heaven, you now have the power to do the things I have asked you to do. Thomas was the only disciple not there that night. When he got back, the others excitedly told him about Jesus' visit. And wait. I don't believe you, Thomas said. I'll believe when I can touch Jesus' wounds. A week later, Thomas and the other disciples were in the same house. Jesus came again and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said to them. Thomas, Jesus commanded, come here. Give me your hands. Put your finger in, on, on the wounds. Put your finger on the wounds in my side. I don't believe you, Thomas said. I'll believe when I can touch Jesus' wounds. A week later, Thomas and the other disciples were in the same house. Jesus came again and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said to them. Thomas, Jesus commanded, come here. Give me your hands. Put your finger on the wounds in my hand. Put your hand by the wound in my side. Do not doubt anymore. It's time for you to believe. Thomas's eyes popped. My Lord and my God, he exclaimed. Jesus answered him, You believe because I'm here with you and you've touched me. Think of those who have not seen me but believe in me anyway. You should believe even when you cannot see it for yourself. I told you I, that I think this is a very important story. And it's important because of what Jesus does and what Thomas does. When Jesus rose back from the dead and went to the disciples, he tells them to have peace. He wants them to change from being afraid to having peace. He breathes on them. The Holy Spirit gives them this, this gift from God. But apparently, it didn't really connect with them. They told Thomas about it, but a week later, they were still in that same room, afraid. Then Jesus comes to Thomas. He doesn't say, Thomas, why didn't you believe them? He says, Thomas, come over here. See that it's me, the one that was crucified. He shows him his, his hand wound, the wound in his side. And then Thomas says, my Lord and my God. See, Thomas actually is the one who gets it. The other disciples did not seem to get it because they were still in that room. But now Thomas makes this uh, announcement of his faith. 
And also, I think this story is important for us 2,000 years later because it's possible for people to think, oh, this is just a story, or the people just imagined that they saw Jesus, right? Maybe that's why the disciples were still afraid. Maybe they thought we were just imagining it. Maybe it was like a daydream. But when Thomas comes, he doesn't want to just believe people that, about something they might have imagined. He wants to know for himself that this, Jesus is really here. And it's not a ghost, but a, a person. And so he goes to touch Jesus so that he can know that Jesus really came back from the dead, that he really rose, and that he was there in his body. And so because of Thomas, we can know that Jesus didn't come back as a ghost or imagination, but that he really came back in his body. Because God's promises for us are not just in our mind. They're not just a, a great dream, but they are real. And they are promises that affect our lives today. And so we're really, what we're supposed to do is be like Thomas. And to say to Jesus, my Lord and my God, and to accept that spirit so that we can go out and be joyous and tell others about that joy. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for Thomas. He was able to question the questions that many of us have. And we thank you that you were so compassionate that you approached him and let him touch you. We give thanks that you came back from the dead for real, in your body, so we can have hope that even when we die, even when people we love die, someday we will be together in our bodies for real and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for coming. See you next week.